seems to be coming in a lot slower, so I think this one could be ours. Maybe not. It doesn't look like it's stopping. Are we meant to jump on? <laughs> We're trying our luck on the metro for the first time in Mumbai. We have been absolutely at the mercy of the locals to point us in the right direction. We think this is our train. We're trying to get to Banda. Let's see where we end up. I don't think this one's stopping either. Where we want to go is Bandra, and an uh, Uber out there was about 500 rupees. Or, and 45 minutes. Yeah. Or 20 rupees for a train ticket and half the time if we get the right train. Alright, here's our train. <laughs> on, on, on. Alright, we made it on. Now we've got to get off. <laughs> That was really weird. We're eventually on a train, but like watching maps, trains just keep going past the station saying that they were stopping at the station, so... And they didn't stop. And they didn't stop. So we have no idea what train we're on, but we're heading in the right direction. Alright, here we go. And we made it to Bandra. Day two of exploring Mumbai, we are in the Bandra area. There is lots of cool cafes and lots of historic sites to see. No, thank you. Of course, we're getting swamped by Tuk Tuk drivers as we arrive at the train station, but we are on foot, we are walking. The policeman just gave us a big cheek. Ah, sorry, cops. Let's go see what we see. You! We are heading to a cafe called Subco Mini at Art and Charlie. It's apparently the smallest cafe in Mumbai. So we thought we'd check it out and see what the coffee's like for Matt. Yeah, let's do it. We can't find it, it's too small. <laughs> we were already lost, but honestly, the people here are so friendly. Every time we've been lost today, which has been like, you know, the whole train station and here, people have been so helpful and given us directions. We love that, don't we? Love that, love that. We think we found it. It's definitely quite small. So Art and Charlie is a little art gallery up there, and here is the cafe entrance. Yeah, we're just walking around the cafe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It definitely is a small cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I broke my fall with my wrist. Oh, oh, it's got a big mud sludge on your bum. Can you smack it off? Jamie Lee has convinced us to go get brownies after our coffee. <laughs> so, this could be lunch. <laughs> While she's waiting eagerly for her brownie, this area, Banda, is so cool to walk around. It's like, um, I guess, eastern suburbs Melbourne with an Indian vibe on top, of course. Like it's uh, lots of cafes, lots of art galleries, the streets are filled with trees. It's really nice. It is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Go on. Oh, how'd you see that going us? Sorry, oh, I'm ruining it. Oh no! You're gonna have ice cream. Delish. <laughs> Come in. I, I very much, I'm just a coffee guy. That means boring. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen someone inhale a brownie so quick. It was so nice and we even got a free little bre Oreo brownie at the end. So good. All right, on to the next one. How do we get past this? I definitely think budget travel is hard in this area in particular, but we've found our way here. We might as well treat ourselves. First salad in how long? Weeks, like 
literally six weeks, I think, since Vietnam. So that salad was delicious at Veronica's. And the only thing we could afford. <laughs> Yeah, we noticed the table next to us. There's six people in there and I saw that bill and it equated to 90 Australian dollars, which is bloody expensive for India, yeah. Mumbai or not. Now, the other thing we realized was that there was a 25% surcharge added to our bill. Crazy, that is, that's almost extortionate. Anyway, now we're in Ranwa Square, a very cool and quaint little part of town. Look at this. This is definitely the quieter side of Mumbai. All these old heritage buildings, greenery, small streets, absolutely lovely. Just looking at the buildings and the religious shrines in this area, my guess would be Portuguese heritage. Let me know in the comments, am I spot on or am I spot wrong? Remember how I was talking about southeast suburbs of Melbourne? Well, there is famous for Chapel Street. What we're coming up to now is Chapel Road. This is one of the most popular streets in this area and it's easy to see why. Got a picture of the goat right there. King Messi. They edgy just like Chapel Street. You got the street art, you got the bloody greenery, you got the cafes. I'm sure there's a hidden bar here or there. Very cool part of town, very cool. It is absolutely pelting down today. That makes it sound like it's raining. And it is raining, it's raining sweat. This Mumbai heat is getting us. Just climbing up the stairs to Mount Mary Basilica, seeing another type of religious monument in here that's not Muslim or Hindi. Does this happen to you guys or is it just us? Everywhere we go is either closed or under construction. Oh wow, the front entrance is quite magnificent. 1904. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty. We are just blown away by the greenery here. Check this out. Every street in Bandra is like this, just covered in massive trees. We've made it down to the water. We've pretty much walked the length of Bandra and now we're heading to the Bandra Fort and that's where this mission ends. Oh, this is the bandstand park. People say to come here for sunset. Really? Yeah. What an entrance. I guess, and this is it, Bandra Fort. Or a part of it. Classic, eh? Under construction. Possibly closed. That's not the fort, surely. Well, there's no one in there. That is the fort. Oh, man. I think we've been shafted again. At least we got some nice views of Mumbai. <laughs> Verdict. Bandra. Beautiful. Lovely. Top notch. We were just saying that if we were to stay in Mumbai for longer, or come back for a second time, we would get accommodation in Bandra. Yeah. Very nice, very nice lifestyle there. Now we're at the end of Bandra on the point where we can look out at Mumbai across the water. Till next time, have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.